All right, so it's going to be a warm afternoon once again here in South Florida, heading into the lower and the middle 80s, but big changes in store for the weekend. Here's a live look outside. This is Vero Beach. You can see a beautiful start to the day, just a couple of clouds around. And temperatures right now in Vero in the upper 70s. We're at 77 degrees currently, a little bit warmer in Fort Pierce at 80. We're coming in at 80 in West Palm and even warmer in Boca coming in at a very toasty 84 degrees. The winds coming in out of the southwest, so that's a very warm flow for us. Today we will be flirting with record highs. Right now winds roughly 10 to 15 miles an hour, but the winds will increase later today as a front approaches and tomorrow is a very blustery day with winds over 30 miles an hour. Right now though, plenty of sunshine from Vero through Jupiter and into Boca, but notice some showers now approaching the Orlando area and those showers will eventually work their way into the Treasure Coast and then into the Palm Beaches as we head into the next several hours. There's a front to the north and you can see we do have some showers along the front as the day goes on and as the front moves southward, it'll weaken. So we're not going to see much rain out of it other than just a few showers around and maybe an isolated thunderstorm. But ahead of it, it will be a warm day heading up to about 84, 85 into the Palm Beaches, the record 86. So we'll be awfully close into view lower 80s, your record 83, so also close there. And into Fort Pierce, we'll see a daytime high of about 83 degrees. So it's a warm one today. And then tomorrow, once we're on the backside of the front, temperatures really come down by roughly 10 degrees. The average high for this time of year is 76. So tomorrow's more of a seasonal day, but it will be a very windy day. We'll have some scattered showers around. And then as we head towards Sunday, we're closer to 80 degrees. If you're heading towards the South Florida Garlic Fest this weekend in Wellington, it's going to be quite blustery on Saturday, often on showers, temperatures middle 70s. On Sunday, we'll still have some showers around and maybe a late day thunderstorm, but it's a bit warmer at about 79 degrees. So here is the current setup. We have a front to the north. The front will work its way southward as we head into tomorrow. The front being to the south, the return flow around this area of lower pressure will create a strong onshore flow for us and offshore will have lots of moisture. So all of that moisture will simply get pushed into the mainland. So as a result, we'll have lots of clouds around with some scattered showers and definitely on the blustery side with winds over 30 miles an hour. Then as we head towards Sunday, the front stalls to the south, but an area of lower pressure develops in the Gulf of Mexico. And as that gets closer to the peninsula ahead of it, we could have a shower or a thunderstorm develop during the afternoon hours. Now, as far as rainfall goes, this is through about midnight on Sunday. So Sunday night, early Monday morning along the coast, roughly an inch to an inch and a half, a little bit less though back across the lake with uh, about a half an inch of rain in the forecast there. So most of the rain should be along the coast with that stiff onshore push. 85 for today in the Palm Beaches, 83 Port St. Lucie, 82 into the northern Treasure Coast overnight tonight, lower to the middle 60s along the coast, but 50s back across the lake. If you're going boating today, not bad. Sees it one to two feet, but tomorrow with those strong winds, the waters will become, become quite rough. In fact, we do have a gale watch in effect for tomorrow if you're going boating, so keep that in mind. For the weekend, definitely cooler, 74 and blustery on Saturday, a little bit warmer on Sunday, 79 with a couple of afternoon thunderstorms.